Harry and his wife are experiencing financial difficulties, so they decide that she will work as a worker. She is unsure of what to do, so Harry advises her, stand in front of that bar and approach a man. Let him know that you charge a hundred bucks. If you have any questions, I'll be parked around the corner. She stands there for five minutes when a man pulls up and asks, how much? She responds, a hundred dollars. He says, all I have is 30. She says, wait a moment, and runs back to Harry, asking, what can he get for 30? Harry replies, ah. She returns to the man and informs him that he can get for $30. He agrees, and she gets into the car. He unzips his pants, and a large emerges. She stares at it for a minute and then says, I'll be right back. She runs back to Harry and asks, Can you lend this guy 70 bucks? They ask the stutterer, Why did you start stuttering? When my brother and I were little, we loved goat's milk. We used to drink it straight from the goat. We grew up, the goat got old, and the milk ran out. We decided to sell the goat. We're at the market, a guy comes up and asks, How much for the male goat? My brother immediately died and I started stuttering. Two midgets go into a bar where they pick up two and take them to their separate hotel rooms. The first midget, however, is unable to get an arrest. His depression is enhanced by the fact that from the next room, he hears cries of one, two, three, ah, all night long. In the morning, the second midget asks the first, how did it go? The first whispered back, It was so embarrassing. I simply couldn't get a hard on. The second midget shook his head. You think that's embarrassing? He asked. I couldn't even get on the head. A man and his wife were traveling down the highway when they saw the lights of a patrol car behind them. When they pulled over, the patrolman came up to the window and said, I am going to give you two tickets. One because you were speeding, and one because you didn't have your seatbelt fastened. The man said, I did too have my seatbelt fastened. I just loosened it when you came up to the car. The patrolman said to the man's wife, I know he didn't have his seatbelt fastened. Isn't that right, lady? She replied, Well, officer, I learned a long time ago not to argue with my husband when he's drunk. Mickey Mouse is in the middle of a nasty divorce from Minnie Mouse. Mickey spoke to the judge about the separation. I'm sorry, Mickey, but I can't legally separate you two on the grounds that Minnie is mentally insane, said the judge. Mickey replied, I didn't say she was mentally insane. I said that she's goofy. Thomas is 32 years old and he is still single. One day a friend asked, why aren't you married? Can't you find a woman who will be a good wife? Thomas replied, Actually, I've found many women I wanted to marry, but when I bring them home to meet my parents, my mother doesn't like them. His friend thinks for a moment and says, I've got the perfect solution. Just find a girl who's just like your mother. A few months later, they meet again, and his friend says, Did you find the perfect girl? Did your mother like her? With a frown on his face, Thomas answers, Yes, I found the perfect girl. She was just like my mother. You were right. My mother liked her very much. The friend said, Then what's the problem? Thomas replied, My father doesn't like her. Arnold and his wife were cleaning out the attic one day when he came across a ticket from the local shoe repair shop. The date stamped on the ticket showed that it was over 11 years old. They both laughed and tried to remember which of them might have forgotten to pick up a pair of shoes over a decade ago. Do you think the shoes will still be in the shop? Arnold asked. Not very likely, his wife said. It's worth a try, Arnold said, pocketing the ticket. He went downstairs, hopped into the car, and drove to the store. With a straight face, he handed the ticket to the man behind the counter. With a face just as straight, the man said, Just a minute, I'll have to look for these. 
he disappeared into a dark corner at the back of the shop. Two minutes later, the man called out, Here they are. No kidding, Arnold called back. That's terrific. Who would have thought they'd still be here after all this time? The man came back to the counter, empty-handed. They'll be ready Thursday, he said calmly. The man's car broke down. He hitchhikes. It's cold. The city is far away. He stops a car. There's a girl inside. The man asks, Can you give me a ride to the city? The girl responds, Are you an oilman? No. Then I won't give you a ride. And drives off. The man tries to stop another car, catches it, and again there's a girl inside. The same story repeats. It gets darker, the cold intensifies, and once again the man stops a car, and there's a third girl. The man asks, Can you give me a ride to the city? The girl responds, Are you an oilman? Yes, I am. Then get in. They drive, and the girl asks, Would you like me to turn on the heater? Yes, please. Maybe a shot of brandy? Not a bad idea. He drinks, feels better, and they continue driving. The girl asks, Would you like me to give you a blow? Okay. The man relaxes completely, finishes. The girl swallows, wipes her mouth, and asks the man, Have you been working as an oil man for a long time? Half an hour, but I really like it. There are three friends. Shut the hell up, your manners, and bear sh**. One day they're in the woods and bear sh** lost, and your manners looks for him. Shut the hell up goes to the police station. My friend is missing. Can you help me? The officer says, What's your name? Shut the hell up. What? Shut the hell up. Say that again. Shut the hell up. Son, where's your manners? That's what I've been trying to tell you. He's out in the woods looking for bear sh**. A married man was having an affair with his secretary. One day, their passions overcame them in the office and they took off for her house. Exhausted from the afternoon's activities, they fell asleep and awoke at around 8 p.m. As the man threw on his clothes, he told the woman to take his shoes outside and rub them through the grass and dirt. Confused, she nonetheless complied and he slipped into his shoes and drove home. Where have you been? demanded his wife when he entered the house. Darling, replied the man, I can't lie to you. I've been having an affair with my secretary. I fell asleep in her bed and didn't wake up until eight o'clock. The wife glanced down at his shoes and said, You liar! You've been playing golf! Two friends are sitting in the kitchen, drinking coffee. Next to them, a huge bulldog is sleeping and snoring. I heard somewhere that to get rid of snoring, you need to tie a red ribbon. You know where? I'll try it now. She brought a ribbon, tied it, and sure enough, he stopped snoring. In the evening, her husband came home drunk, crashed on the couch, and also snored. The wife made him a bow too. It helped. In the morning, the husband goes to the bathroom. After two minutes, he comes out clearly shocked and sees exactly the same bow on the dog. I don't remember, Max, where we were yesterday, but we clearly took the prize places. A man asks his mute friend what he wants in a woman. The mute friend points to his head. His friend says, Yes, intelligence is important. Then, the mute friend rubs his thumb on the palm of his hand. His friend nods and says, Certainly a woman with money would be nice. Then, the mute friend opens his hands wide in front of him, cups his fingers and makes a bouncing motion. His friend looks at him strangely. What the heck do you want a woman with arthritis for? Things your wife won't say. The smell of beer on your breath drives me wild. I'm bored. Let's shave the p I've decided to stop wearing clothes around the house. Let's get a good p movie, a case of beer, and make an afternoon of it. God, if I don't blow you soon, I swear I'm gonna bust. 
I only signed up for yoga so that I can get my ankles behind my head. Let's subscribe to Hustler. Let's take pictures so your friends will believe you. Honey, our neighbor's daughter is sunbathing again. Come see. Oh, it's on fart. Do another one. Worry it about their less than exciting stuff. A young wife sends her husband to a therapist who winds up treating him with self-hypnosis. To her joy, everything gets much better. However, she can't help but notice that each night, just before their lovemaking, the husband dashes out to the bathroom for several minutes. This torments her until finally, one night, she follows him. There, in front of the mirror, she finds him applying this therapeutic technique. She's not my wife. She's not my wife. She's not my wife. I was sitting on my own in a restaurant when I saw a beautiful woman at another table. I sent her a bottle of the most expensive wine on the menu. She sent me a note. I will not touch a drop of this wine unless you can assure me that you have seven inches in your pants. So I wrote back, give me the wine. As gorgeous as you are, I'm not cutting off three inches for anyone. A couple goes out to dinner to celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary. On the way home, she notices a tear in his eye and asks if he's getting sentimental because they're celebrating 50 wonderful years together. He replies, No, I was thinking about the time before we got married. Your father threatened me with a shotgun and said he'd have me thrown in jail for 50 years if I didn't marry you. Tomorrow I would have been a free man. Joe is on his final day as a mailman. Along his route, he receives numerous thank you cards and monetary gifts. When he reaches the very last house, a beautiful housewife greets him and invites him in for lunch. Joe happily accepts the invitation. After lunch, the woman invites him up to the bedroom for some dessert. Joe gladly accepts once again. When they finish, the woman hands him a dollar. Confused, Joe asks about the dollar. The woman explains, It was my husband's idea. When I told him it was your last day at work, he said, S Give him a dollar. The lunch was my idea. A young couple were married and celebrated their first night together, doing what newlyweds do, time and time again, all night long. Morning comes and the groom goes into the bathroom but finds no towel when he emerges from the shower. He asks the bride to please bring one from the bedroom. When she gets to the bathroom door, he opened the door, exposing his body for the first time to his bride, where she sees all of him well. Her eyes went up and down, and at about midway, they stopped and stared, and she asked shyly, What's that? Pointing to a small part of his anatomy. He, also being shy, thought for a minute, and then said, Well, that's what we had so much fun with last night. She, in amazement, asked, Is that all we have left? Steve and his buddies were hanging out, planning an upcoming fishing trip. Unfortunately, Steve had to inform them that he couldn't join this time because his wife wouldn't allow it. After enduring teasing and name-calling, Steve headed home, feeling frustrated. The following week, when Steve's buddies arrived at the lake to set up camp, they were shocked to see Steve already there. He was sitting at the campground with a cold beer, his camping gear set up, fishing rod in hand, and a campfire glowing. How did you manage to convince your wife to let you go, Steve? They asked. Steve replied, I didn't have to. Yesterday, when I got home from work, I slumped down in my chair with a beer to drown my sorrows because I couldn't go fishing. Then, my wife sneaked up behind me, covered my eyes, and said, Surprise! When I uncovered my eyes, she was standing there in a beautiful see-through negligee and said, Carry me into the bedroom, tie me to the bed, and you can do whatever you want. So here I am. <laughs> 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 yeah.